and welcome along everybody how are we doing this evening i hope you're all doing well and uh, are having a uh, a lovely start to your week i'm sitting here ch chuckling and i'll show you why in a minute um but uh yeah uh hello hello welcome along will and timlick welcome along i hope you're both doing well what sucks about fs22 oh that's a good question there are a few things that irk me about fs22 um none that i can think of off the top of my head uh hey bry welcome along i'm doing well thank you um yeah good start to the week i had some uh i've, had, I've made some good progress this week so uh we're gonna see how things go um but yeah it's uh it's been pretty good i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with how uh, this uh reaper is not back this evening uh actually i haven't so i haven't actually gone on to discord and done the voice chat i have no messages from reaver no no messages from reaver so no reaver's not joining us tonight um he is still on sabbatical from the farm um but we'll be back at some point uh they haven't yet that's uh that's what's like yeah no i agree with you about that much so uh speaking of which there was supposed to be a video out today which was my fs20 my first fs25 wish list video um thank you a little bit longer to put together than i'd expected so uh that didn't go out today i have something very fearful looking at me at the moment um and i'll show you what we'll go over to the live screen i don't know if you can see him at the moment no you can't but if i take my camera and that is sitting in front of my keyboard right now and he's looking at me is to go what the hell are you doing because that's uh yeah so yes the billy cat has joined me for tonight's stream he won't leave me alone um so he's gonna sit at the front of my keyboard all evening um right we need to move forward to the next day Foxball just redeemed a farming simulator pack. What's cat's name? That's Billy. That's Billy Cat. He's got. He's actually got very comfortable there. Um, it's a pity I can't quite get it to be. Oh, I killed the cat. Oh no, I didn't kill the camera. I can't. There's nowhere I can place the camera to give you Billy Cam all evening. Hang on. Let me see. There he is. Let's have Billy Cam instead of Wheel Cam tonight. Right. Uh, we want to go forward to 6 a.m. Oh, I got to be very careful of that because I'm catching that one out. Move that there. there we go. And if he moves, I'll move the, the I'll move it back to wheel cam. But uh, at the moment, it's not. 6 a.m. It's nice and bright out. That's fantastic. Uh, we have a load more seeding to do. Did we bring the tractor back last time? Uh, yes, we did. So uh, let's go load up the tractor with more seed. Well, let's get the seed out to the field. And we can go from there. There we go. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because you can. I actually, I don't think there's. I mean, you can see in the background my uh, my streaming screen, but I don't think there's any information on the. Hey, Red Dragon, welcome along. You're right, Billy Boy. You look a bit scared. I think you're ready to leap off as soon as you can. He's looking at my wheel, not very sure about what the heck's going on with that. How does that redeem work? I don't know. Oh, ah, sorry, Voxball. Yes. So uh, go and so what you need to do is go over to Stream Loots. That's what you did. 
Uh, go over to Stream Loot uh, and then send me your username on Stream Loot and I will send you a farming simulator pack. Yeah, I will uh, I will send you over a, a farming simulator pack. So just send me your uh, your username over at Stream Loot. Right, you can see half this field is seeded. Evening, YTM87. Welcome along. Box ball, okay. So if I go over to Stream Loot, I should be able to gift a pack. Barbing Simulator. Full. One pack of that. Send you a pack. Right, you should have received a pack then, uh, Voxable. Undo that, turn that off. He's purring very loudly right now. I think, Lola, what sucks is that Ford can't be on console. Right. And that's right, because we brought everything back because we then rolled the field. Today, we should be able to get this field finished and get started on the next one. Is the plan? Hey. Awesome box ball. So yes, uh, you can now get box ball says notes. Uh, I have added channel point redemptions for car for stream loops cards. So you can do uh, what box ball has just done. Uh, you can redeem. Uh, channel points and i will send you then you just send me your username on stream loops and i will send you a pack of cards which is what mark b has just done oh hang on oh yeah okay you redeemed combine harvester short please tell me that those are turned on Okay, sound alerts are turned on. Maybe they're not working still. Oh, I might have to turn that off again. I'm doing well, thank you, Dale. You. this is my cat billy this is billy cat he decided that he wants to sit on front of my uh in front of my keyboard this evening uh and so uh i have um set up the camera so that the wheel cam tonight is uh, is instead of cat cam. isn't that right billy It's rather unfortunate. The other reason why he's left there and I'm not picking him up is because he's had his flea treatment. Streamlit's giveaway. Right. So the way this is going to work is I am going to grab a free pack from... Uh, I'm going to create a coupon for a free pack. I'm going to post it in chat. First person to go and redeem it in fact no no so i'm going to create uh three so it's three free packs um of three cards each i am uh going to uh you can redeem that on any collection and uh and you can uh you can do it uh, straight away so i'm gonna create coupon 
first three people to use this coupon uh, will be able to uh, to get a free pack. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, copy it. So uh, this will go in. In fact, uh, yeah, this will go in the chats for both. So I need to use the restream chat for this. No. I have a. All right, come on. Come on. Thank you. Try logging in. Logging in rather great to you, cat. Right, so I will put this in both chats. There are three here. Click on the link. You can redeem a coupon. Grab a free pack uh, by clicking on it. And... Can you show me the live? Please? I want to see the restream chat, please. Here we go. Right. Okay. So we'll put this in the chat. Copy that. And. Why won't you copy the coupon code, put it in the chat, post it? There we go. Right, so this is should be on both chats. Click on that. First three people to redeem that uh, will get a uh, will get a free pack from either collection. Oh, somebody's got a legendary card. Adriel, thank you for resubscribing. Seven long, seven long arduous months. How is Reva doing? Reva's doing okay. He's just, he's just uh, a little bit burnt out at the moment. Why did that not come up in my restream? That's weird. Voxful wants to wrap a bale. <laughs> Wrap away. Yeah, we do need to refill this. How come your funds aren't on street? What do you mean my funds? I uh, my my uh, my wheel and my uh, joystick up because I got a cat on my desk who decided he wanted to sit there. So I thought I would um, stick a camera in his face. <laughs> Good to see you still farming with an empty wallet. Always, Jesse. We at least have the ability to borrow money at the moment if we need to. Money, time of year, weather, etc. On the top right, stumble. They should be. They are. They are. I had scrolled down. <laughs> oh, there wasn't much in that bag. That's brilliant, as absolutely brilliant. Ah, oh, there we are. Oh. Reese, 
spray your tractor. Oh. Hey, Dark Tree Gaming, welcome along. Respray my tractor. Respray this tractor as well. Oh, God. We're going to have to borrow five grand just to respray the tractor. Now. Go, off we go. Oh. Yeah, see where he gets at me. Oh. Let's go get this out of the way, because this tractor... Yeah. I'm hoping I can do this in my workshop. That's a mean legendary card, that is. to the shop. Yeah, at least at least I'm in the 76, which should be cheap. We wonder why we never get anything done on this farm. is about as perfectly placed as it could be. <laughs> He's looking straight into it for most of the screen. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. kicked off the server hey robert awesome i'm enjoying i'm enjoying my moss valley series what i what i want to know is how i get my videos out to more people whoa what field am i in oh, i'm halfway across field three. Oh, that's a I did my whole thing. Oh, yeah. Everything drops, didn't it? Wow. Why is my internet? That was a proper hiccup. How did that not disconnect? How did that not end up with a disconnection? Is that because you yawned, Billy Cat? <laughs> Is that because you moved around a bit and yawned? Have we lost? Have we lost many? We've got just nine on YouTube. Hey, Viking Wolf, welcome along. I am on Saxdorp. This is Saxdorp. It's Matt. He 
He's quite happy just sitting here with me, really. All right, yeah. Trouble that you are. My pleasure, Viking Wolf. driving all the way down to the shop uh moshe maybe i get to work with you for a stream. most share most share mate Given me an, an interesting idea there, uh, White M. to the workshop area and see how much this is going to cost to repaint oh we've got to borrow 10,000 to repaint this as you really oh no repaint it There we go. Shiny and new. Don't you think about you love me? Yes. <laughs> and we had to drive all the way down to the shop to do that. Hang on, I just want to check what's in the shop. Uh, no, nothing of use to us. Uh, you've had enough, have you? Little man, what are you doing? You off? No, no. Ow! 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 No, there's no space to sit on my lap. What am I stuck? Yeah, now you can see the butt. No, you can't sit. No, you can't sit there. Come on. Move. I can't touch you because you've had your treatment. So, oh, go on. No, 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 no. You're going to have to move. There's, there's keyboards and things there, Cat. You were fine where you were. Oops. Come on, down. Down. Off. Oh, oh, oh. You can't sit under there. You're not going to like it under the wheel, cat. You're really not. He's on my lap now. You can see that 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 ginger shape there. That's him. <laughs> you you're not cut. You can't be comfortable under there. Six K to repaint uh, World Company Gone Global. Yeah. Wait. Sir. Oh, that they are already in my legs. I am in excruciating pain right now, Steam fan. 
His his rear claws are in my leg. Ah! Yeah, there, there literally is no room for you there, cat. There really isn't. His head down, look. <laughs> My cat would do the same, they go where it's what yeah, and, and to be honest at the moment, my office is, or my studio is the warmest part of the world. Uh, it's the warmest part of the house. Your Matthew revealed save it 200 hours. Bry20 wants you to slow clap at that. Not a fan of the slow clap, are you? No. Sorry. You can blame Bry for that. Right, we need to get the rest of this field sewn. And then hopefully get another field sewn today. So, uh, close it up, lift it up. And away we go. Be shared. Most by a sub gets to join your birthday stream. Oh. We go share it once, and it would be very difficult for me to track that. Right. So. Okay. What are you, What are you doing now? Where are you going? You're just going to sit over there, aren't you? I don't have to reach the keyboard right now. Look at Buckland's or Chipping Norton, but don't know which is better for customizability. Buckland's, as I remember, is a very customizable map. Chipping Norton, I think, is less customizable. Wait! No, 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 no. Don't sit on the keyboard.
You'll make weird things happen. I need weird things not to happen during my live stream. Weirder things not happen during my live stream. Yeah. Yeah, Tipping Tipping Norton is very bad. Tipping Norton is one of those maps I'd like to play. Purbeck is one of those maps I'd like to play. Uh, and I haven't yet. Um, there's there's a few maps that I I. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to look at it. Especially as things slow down towards the end. I might go and have a look at playing. Um, I, I must say that VR Modding has sent me over a couple of updates to Moss Valley. Um, I now have... Uh, I, I now have manure in the pig pens. Yay! I can put straw in there and get manure out, which is fantastic. Uh, that's going to be very useful for the gardens. Um, and he's removed the uh, stubble destruction that I was having an issue with. So uh, that has um, that's been removed from the map as well, which I didn't ask him to do. He just he, he watched my videos and decided to do it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's gone as well. And so uh, both uh, <clears throat> between all the changes. Oh, and he added a proper um, uh, soil map to it. So all of those changes actually uh, require a new game save. So I, I haven't got the early access version out for my uh, patrons and channel members today because I was sorting out the map ready um that should be up tomorrow morning early access for that at least lunchtime uh, that is my priority for tomorrow yeah you're sitting there where i'm going to be saying a lot of stuff towards that yeah but perbeck is a lovely map really lovely map And it was originally going to be a, a, a role-play map I had an idea for. But uh, no, instead, I, I think we will probably... Do, I might do something similar to Moss Valley with some older equipment starting a few fields and seeing if we can hit a, a certain amount of money. <laughs> can't do it or both of our... I'm in something where I can sell pens... Uh, where I can sell pens I don't want to use and I have big harvester. Pinch your setup of. Yeah, Moss Valley at the moment doesn't have removable stuff. Uh, what cedar is this? This is the Amazon D9 4000 Super. It is available on the mod hub. Wondering is Bucklands. Bucklands might be better for you. The fields are much bigger on Bucklands, is the only thing. Yeah, why are the sound alerts still not working? Okay, I'm going to disable those quickly. That's annoying. Uh, view rewards. Rewards. channel points yeah no not why you use channel points
Right, I disabled. Yeah. I've disabled the points that weren't working. So we should easily get this seeded today and then uh, we're going to move on and start seeding some of the other fields. What did I say I was going to do? Uh, yeah, so we need to... What's our April crop? Our April crop is... canola i think so we've got to get the canola done this month as well and then we're looking at doing um sorghum as well how's we doing reaper's doing okay he should be back at some point but just not yet i have been talking to him Not often we have a VF Kitty on stream. A Hydra! Cheers, Viking! Cheers, Viking Wolf! I need to up the size of the text on those alerts, I think. Because I can see what it is in the activity feed. I don't know how well you guys can see it on, stream, uh, on screen. It is a bit small, yeah. I only set those up a couple of days ago because I was missing all of the channel point redemptions. Now we can see them. Although I think there's certain... I need to work out if there's certain channel point redemptions I can um, not have the alert appear for. Because if we... Because uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway around my birthday for the aforementioned uh, FS22 Premium Edition on disc. Uh, signed by Caleb Cooper. And... Uh, we are, and of course, part of that will be the ability to uh, redeem channel points towards the giveaway. So, um, yeah. seem to be set looking and going I want to sit on your lap again
I have a money tree. Why are computers so expensive? As can I have a money tree? Because finding a job at the moment is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Or just more people watch my videos, please. We can grow it together. Oh. It's, uh, there is, uh, I keep saying this. So I found a couple of channels on YouTube doing the same content as me in the same way, not really doing a whole lot of evergreen stuff. And yeah. Overdue taxes. Back in the red. Thank you, Box Ball. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's there's a couple of channels I found that that have similar uh, subscribers to me on YouTube, uh, doing similar content, and uh, they are just getting a huge number of views. I'm actually going to start doing some of the. Um, do you know what I should have done for today? I should have lined up. Ah, full realism. Hey, Nora. Uh, it should have lined up a um, super cut. Thank you, Fisher J. Nora is indeed paying attention. Uh, yeah, GPU prices are ridiculous, as. Uh, although, I think the 4070 Ti Super is just a cracking card for the price. I'm, sl I'm slightly mid, but I, you know, sort of six, eight months ago, I uh, I bought a, a 4070 Ti, and now the suit, uh, the 4070 Ti Super, which is better performing, is about a hundred pounds cheaper. Just think the hardware's ah uh, yeah i i ha i had had the same uh problems i mean my by the time i stop using my pcs uh they are 10 years old so my uh my current streaming pc is about six years old um first pc i ever bought with the uh with with money from doing this uh and uh yeah it's uh it's it's now my streaming pc it's it's had a new motherboard in it and it's had a new motherboard and a new power supply in it though to be us could you co-stream to reach their viewers um looking at how their channels work uh white m uh they I, I can see what they did to get it, and I'm hoping that me doing the same, I'm not too late. How long have I got? And I've got another two minutes until I fix this problem. We can fix it now. can see him just off the top of the uh, wheel cam now he's still here 
He's not leaving me. sitting on the keyboard please don't I think I might get, I, I might sort out some uh, super cuts. Oh God, go over there. Uh, I might, <laughs> get off the keyboard. You, you are definitely on the keyboard. No, no. No. Get off the keyboard. You are an agent of chaos. I've made a big space for you, Cat. Move into the space. No, no, there. He's a better farmer than Reva. He's causing more chaos than Reva. Yes, you are. You are an agent of chaos. Anyone wondering where he is? Oh. There he is. I think it's um it's a waiting thing, Richard. Uh Norf has just purchased five packs from the Farmsome collection. Thank you, Nora. Numbers are down everywhere. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, everybody's numbers are down and I'm, I'm I I'm actually fairly happy that uh, my numbers are stable for the most part, Richard. 
Uh, my live stream numbers are massively down. Uh, we were, a year ago, we had a hundred, over a hundred viewers on Twitch alone. Yeah, exactly. It's a question of, of what do I switch to as, that's the trouble. What do I play for several months until uh, something hits? Yes. I, what I'm considering, Richard, is uh, doing some stuff on some of my other channels. So I'm considering possibly putting some expedition stuff out and stuff like that on BF2. Um, I'm uh, I'm looking at uh, possibly doing some Seven Days to Die stuff over on Victor Foxtrot. Um, which, if you haven't subscribed to Victor Foxtrot, uh, please pop over there, subscribe to it. I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers on that channel, uh, get it monetized, and and have it as a, another source of income. Um, but yeah, I might see if I can uh, can actually do some extra stuff. I nearly streamed a whole load of Apex Legends this afternoon. Very nearly streamed a whole load of Apex Legends. Because I have almost got to the end. Actually, as I need to talk to you about something on Apex. Watch the current equipment before the end of the day. Will do. And add 10% damage to my current equipment. Resource limited challenge. Well, that's why I changed slightly my uh, let's play on Moss Valley. I overdue taxes of a thousand. I'm not pausing. I am removing. See, normally the tax and stuff it shouldn't be an issue, except that we are circling the drain money wise. No, no, um, there's, uh, you can give away free skins at the moment, Azrael. Uh, and there's, uh, the current skin giving away this week is a Loba skin. Uh, and I can't obviously gift it to myself. So I was wondering if you'd say, and it's a free gift. I was wondering if you'd gift it to me. Yeah. But I need to, um, we need to be friends on, uh, on EA not just on apex to do that and i can gift it to you as well brainy did not buy new dlc don't think i can blindly support giants fights. i richard i do not i and i do not think this is a poor dlc i am actually really excited by this dlc and do you know what i found interesting i've been around and having a look and I'm gen generally finding excitement for it. I'm generally finding, generally finding people interested in this DLC, which is really awesome. Uh, you should have an EA account to uh, to be using Apex at all. As 
You you will have had to have signed up an EA account to uh, to play Apex. Uh, yeah, um, Platinum was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> Not sure if I'm just yet, but I have bought two copies already. I will actually. I will be giving a copy away. I think. Uh, at least one copy. Unfortunately, because of the uh, tightness of the money at the moment, I can't. I can't do too much in the way of giveaways. Well, stream the floors that I probably put a few more restrictions and add a few more cards first. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm happy to give away stream loot stuff, definitely. And uh, I've actually got quite a library of games ready to give away as well. So, uh, oh, we are out of seeds. Oh, I hope I hope I have enough seeds to finish this field. Should have. Not sure we're gonna have enough seeds to do more seeding today, though. We might have to borrow more money to do that. What I'd like is real competitions for giant software from other companies. Do you know what, Richard? Yes. But I don't sit. Other companies have tried it, and the trouble is that. They are quite a way behind Giants. When SFTN map ends, can you do one on Agli Farm? So I am looking for my next map. Uh, so Northern Farms is due to end this month. End of this month. Um, and yeah, I am looking for the next map. So I'm, I'll go and have a look at it. Definitely. I know that um, Argzy is playing on it at the moment and enjoying it. Same issue trucking games have when trying to compete with SES. Yeah. Are you using any suspension mod? Uh, my tractors don't shake like that. Nope. Uh, the only mod I'm using as far as suspension goes uh, is I'm not... Uh, I've got the axle lock remover mod on here, which is uh for front load detractors not pure farming had potential good i oh my lord the trouble the trouble any uh farming game has coming in is mod support farm sim does as well as farm sim does because it has the mod support if it didn't have it oh he's gone if it didn't have all of the modders and everything making all the extra content for it it wouldn't it wouldn't do three years between games it couldn't because it, it wouldn't be able to be kept fresh enough even with uh giants putting out the dlcs and this is this is what i mean when i say that uh farm sim is is it is a very symbiotic game the modders need farm sim to make the mods and farm sim make needs mods to keep it fresh and that has always been the case that has been the case from the early days of the game you know there are mods in pretty much every version of farm sim and it's something that giants cottoned on to very early on Oh, we don't have enough seeds for this field, do we? Forty-six percent. That is not good. 
Uh, when will Moss Valley be released for PS5? Uh, it's going to be a while. He's still working. A, a he's still working on finishing off uh, and fixing things on the PC version. And then once that's done, uh, then he will do the console version. So I wouldn't expect um, Moss Valley's console version for a while. I'm pretty sure that 11 definitely did. Uh, 08 might not have. Because finding mods now is is tough. Uh, Eleven definitely had mods. There was there was there's been a vibrant modding community for Farmton definitely since FS11. As I said, this is, this is the trouble. Any game, there one more time, you just had to fiddle with game files. There we go. Yeah, it's modding for Farm Sim has become easier over the years. And the trouble for any game coming in now, and Cattle and Crops came up against this, is Farm Sim has so many brands in it now. So much of the game is wrapped up in, in those brands. But coming in, you, you're never going to replicate that. You're never going to get the coverage of brands that, that Farmsim has. And uh, when you're so immediately on the back foot because of that, um, there are games that are in the works that look really cool and that I want to try. Um, Farm and Fix, I think, is one that looks interesting, which takes everything to the next level uh, as far as uh, maintenance. But I think Farm Sim, I, uh, Farm Sim is going to take maintenance to the next level. This is the thing, any game that comes out any game that comes out uh that is is a farming thing the moment they bring out something really innovative uh, and and really uh really cool and really different farm sim can integrate it in the next game and then immediately all of their advantage is gone and farm sim has the advantage that on top of that they they also have all the farm sim uh, cattle and crops was never going to destroy Farmson. It was never going to happen, Spud Boy, for one very simple reason. Cattle and crops was made for hardcore simmers. And I say this as somebody who, uh, who backed cattle and crops. Because I loved the hardcore sim side of it. But... Farm Sim succeeds because Farm Sim doesn't just cater for the hardcore Sim lot. You know, you can play it really hardcore, um, but you can also just be as arcadey as you like, turn all the realism stuff off, and just go really simple. And so it appeals to a wide spectrum of people. Um, it's it's not just uh, because it was PC only, Fisher J, because that would have been fine. Uh, you know, if it had enough audience on PC, the game would have survived. Uh, it's that it didn't have uh it's it's the it's audience wasn't big enough on pc why is that waving at me looking forward to it too but it didn't matter too much for the tech demo in the end no i did play i have a stream of me playing it um back in my archives somewhere uh, but they also ended up partnering with a really bad publishing studio as well. And that, that then was the final nail in the coffin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Makes sense. Yeah, you can play you can play farms in mass, massively super arcadey. Turn all of the the uh, turn all of the realism stuff off and uh, and just immerse yourself in in a nice leisurely calming farm sim game. Um, and a lot of people love it for that. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about when uh, Agley's uh, going to be released on console. Uh, Elaine, uh, apologies. And there were, uh, get me wrong, there were some nice things. There were some really nice things that Cattle and Crops did. Uh, but it, it just wasn't stuff that was going to appeal to enough people. FS 13 and 15 were boring on console as they had no mods. Yeah, actually, do you know what? That is a perfect example, Steam fan. So many, uh, so many people at the time that 15 came out uh, said how boring Farm Sim was on console. But that was zero mod support. And uh, I, I actually bought 15 for my brother on PS3. And uh, yeah, he played it for, uh, he, he played it quite a bit, but was asking me, oh, what, you know, I wanna, I wanna have lots of things I see on your videos. I wanna do the things that you do. And, uh, and it was just a case of, well, you can't do that on console, unfortunately. Well, we might have enough seeds to finish this field. Music's a little bit different tonight because I'm playing random tracks from the whole of, uh, of the Stream Beats catalog. All right, we're going to get this rolled after this. And then we might have to borrow some money. I think there's a an error at the side of the map here. No? Huh, maybe not. Don't know why I can't drive that edge bit. Yeah, there's definitely seems to be an edge there that you can't drive on. Going to put FSG live stream on for a few minutes. Fair enough. Don't advertise it in here. I'm streaming. Much as I love FSG. Stay here. Watch me. I'm actually really looking forward to meeting up with the guys in a couple of months. Uh, I'm so looking forward to Farmcom. Exactly, Richard. Oh, man, I did manage to get that exactly right, although I missed a little bit. But that is the perfect width.
Nope, bit further. And we've still got 22% left in the uh, in the seed. Fantastic. Welcome back, Lola. a little bit too extreme was the only thing <laughs> steve fan i i think that would be uh stream wrecking and and while disruption is great stream wrecking is not really what we're after how's the job hunt going well i had my uh i had my interview on monday seemed to go fairly well um we will oh uh yes uh, we uh, will see how that let's see how that goes and see whether um, they ask me back for a second interview. Uh, I had you taxes. Thank you, Nora. Anybody want to give me money to buy seed? Nora no. one forty two says moo. I got an idea for something that's either massively disruptive or massively useful. Hey, sir, here. Welcome along. Right, we'll get this rolled in. Hey, uh, Guillaume. Catch uh, see. Can I do a recap of what's going on? Yes, we have just finished uh the second half of our barley field we unfortunately couldn't finish it before the end of march so uh the first half of the field has germinated and we've now planted the second half of the field uh next we need to start planting our canola fields so we're gonna get uh this field rolled and then we of oh, the the barley rolled and then we're gonna go and uh get the uh, start getting the canola in don't hit the trailer and uh yeah if we can get that if we can get all of the canola in uh this month then uh, we'll be able to get the sorghum in next month which is going to be a mammoth job because we have field two to uh to plant and we're probably gonna have to get this on a hired worker and do the 7610 ourselves or do this ourselves and get the hired worker going in the 7610 might be the better way to do it although i'd like to have a new tractor for that but i don't think we're gonna have the money I really don't want to take us up to the ex the the extent of our loan right now. I think there was a gateway at the far end of the field. Sundre Drossom, welcome along. Really enjoyed the Bearhead series? Thank you. Is Bale tidy up before Reva sees? Yeah, I know. I do need to tidy the bales up before Reva goes ape on me. He will not be a happy bunny if he sees the mess I've made there. Do you realize the gameplay you got? Oh, thank you. Lots more where that came from. Great 
great demand at class bay brain bay one we do not have anything to sell right now should be able to roll and yeah we're not going to destroy any crop good Uh, Kitty is left. Yeah, Billy's headed off. He died enough for sitting on my desk. He does that. He gets to a point. He just goes, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's nice to have him here, here on the stream while he was. Oh, yeah. Look at those little stones going in. Fantastic. We should do a lot better on the farm this year because obviously we have uh, now got three. Uh, we've, we've now got four fields uh, and three crops. So we'll uh, we'll do a lot better on the farm this year than last year. Him and Maple are awesome. They're lovely. Maple is a little bit more scraggy than Billy is because uh, she has uh, she does have a condition and she's a little bit of a, a sicker cat than, than he is but um, yeah they're both lovely they're both really cute Wow, no, that really doesn't want to be in sixth gear. Ah, they have a sibling rivalry. He, he does, in fact, he does bring mice in for her. So he will go out, he will catch a mouse. Uh, he'll come into the kitchen and he'll leave it on the kitchen floor for her and she will be straight in there and grab it and 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 take it hey axiom welcome along my thoughts on the upcoming dlc i'm excited for the upcoming dlc i'm i'm really looking forward to a dlc that is different that is that is a a, a complete change from uh the kind of stuff we see regularly in uh, in farm sim dlcs so uh yeah i'm i'm quite excited i'm i'm already sort of going through my head how can i do stuff uh in uh, how can i do stuff with this dlc that's a little bit different how can i integrate it into my series uh i'm looking forward to it uh my partner links unfortunately won't work on xbox which is really annoying. However, if you do want to support me with my partner link, go check out the Farm Sim magazine. You can download the PDF version of it from the Giants website. Uh, it is not very expensive. Uh, and yeah, my BF Gaming uh, code works on it and it does help to support the channel. So uh, yeah, go, go check it out go, um, and go grab that. Uh, if you want to, to grab something off there. Yeah, it's such a pity that, that it only works for... Um, uh, for the PC version. But, hey ho, it is what it is. Screenies. Good 
Be by DLC as to whether it gives clues to the next game direction. Uh, I don't think so, Steampan, because this is a third-party DLC. So it gives about as much direction as the emergency uh, uh, the emergency pack does. I think if you're looking for game direction for FS, uh, well, the next farm sim, uh, I would look to... Uh, I would look to the Platinum Edition DLC. The, uh, the, the stuff that was done differently in, uh, in the Platinum Edition. I think that's where you're going to find stuff that will be in the next game. At least I'm hoping so. I'm really hoping that the idea of building stuff in your farm and having to bring the um, uh, bring the, the, the bits that you need for it. So you build your own barns and things is what I'm really hoping is, uh, is in FS, uh, in the next FS. What new crops am I hoping for? I'm hoping for field cabbages, pumpkins, and flowers. Hmm. Ah, uh, peas. The the big crop I would like to see in the next version of Farm Sim is peas. Uh, it's a crop that's been really taking off in the UK in the last few years, and uh, some of uh, some of the brands that have pea harvesters are already in the game and uh yeah i'd, re I'd really like to see pea harvesters i think have more stuff in no it doesn't that's an olive harvester hello uh you took my temp welcome along i'm sorry i have no idea how to pronounce your name tom <laughs> welcome along tom and uh, I'm sorry, that word will not make it through the filter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a little bit of a strategy, but uh, nothing surprises me. But well, I've been on... Oh, man. So I reckon I've been doing Twitch for five years now. As I'm coming up to content creating for eight. I might have been on Twitch. I might have been on Twitch for six. Definitely been on Twitch for six. The end of FS17. No, because I was looking at this the other day. The end of FS17... I was streaming on Twitch. Wasn't as a wasn't as a, an affiliate, but um, yeah, I was uh, I was streaming on Twitch because I was reviewing the final episodes of the Realism Experiment in FS17, and the the stream we were live on youtube and twitch i was restreaming 
uh, I was restreaming back then. An FS-17... Oh, I am up to my eyeballs in debt at the moment. Uh, both, both on here and in real life. Um, but, uh, yeah, so end of FS-17 would be... 2018, end of 2018. It's now 2024. So, yeah, I've been on Twitch at least six years. Uh, and I've been a partner for two and a half, three, I think. FS-17 was cool. I think I missed a couple of small clumps of uh, stones, but nothing major. Okay, Steve Van! field done. But I think we're going to have to have a trip down to the shop and grab some more seeds, which means borrowing some more money. We're never going to get the cow started on here. By the time a new tractor comes up on here, we're going to, uh, we're not going to have the money to buy it. Reba's going to be like, so what did you get done and how much money were we rolling in? And you're going to tell him you're in the red. Yeah. I'm sorry, I lost all our money. I'm going to leave the rollers here. Uh, in fact, we'll leave them in the entranceway to the field because we're going to be using them on the next field. So, part that there. I'm going to put this with the uh, leader. What's the best way to clear up a contract I've messed up by tipping in the wrong sell point? Uh, you are on console, aren't you, uh, Axion? Come on, cars, move. Um, you can... Comp uh, so you've got a load of money from the contract. Uh, you can... Uh, you can just complete the contract. It will charge... Oh, you cancelled the contract. It will charge you a ton of money. Oh, man. Uh, but uh, you should have already made that money by tipping it in the wrong sell point. And in some cases, you'll find yourself uh, up. Uh, the other thing is the buy anything silo, yeah. But yeah, if you've sold the crop, the crop should sell for about the same amount as the uh, as the contract will cost you. 
If it's a big contract, that will be uh, difficult, as unfortunately. No. Down. Down. And open up. Yeah. And then turn off. Hey, five gen farms, welcome along. Right, turn you off. Oh, yes. Sell all the crop and buy the field. Yes, and it cancels the contract without a cost. That is the other way to do it. Which is a little bit cheaty. Uh, four wheel, uh, two wheel drive Ford 4600 with a QCAP and Mill Life Farm has been its previous owner in Norway, imported from England in the 1780s. Really enjoyed the Ford track series. Ah, oh, uh, Sondre. That's awesome. That's such a lovely tractor, that Ford. Uh, the other way to do it, uh, Action, would be get the government subsidy mod, get the money to buy the field, Buy the field to cancel the contract, sell the field, and then get rid of the money uh, using uh, by leasing expensive stuff until you've got rid of the uh, the amount of money that the field added. Welcome along. Right, how much is a bag of seed? I think a bag of seeds is 800, if I remember correctly. So we're going to have to borrow another 10,000 because ideally I would like to have six bags of seed. That's far too far long winded. Right, let's borrow 10,000 then. Uh huh. Hang on, I gotta check the bank. Right, how much? So, night, I gotta check this. Right, so we got 991040 times 0.8. Oh, we got plenty. Wow, we got plenty of headroom. And for Judah. Uh, no. Right. Okay. Uh, so overdue taxes of five hundred. Who played that? Hey, sports fan. Go on a multiplayer, create a farm, then save in single mode. That would also work. Uh, right, we need seeds. Seeds. Do I want frontiers at 980? No, I want Anglians. Right. 4,000. Uh, bye. Yes. Okay. Cool. Check this up. But yeah, the other way is to to open it up in multiplayer, create a new farm, then open it up in single player uh, to get yourself enough money. Wait, no.
Oh my god, I can't do that from front like that. To the field we go. I need to get at least another field planted today. Someone did say that earlier. It's this rubbishy little. Come on. Axiel, thank you for purchasing five chests. I'm gonna have to go and get something to pick this up. Recovering! Martin underscore Shriver cancelled the last card play. Oh, Except if it played. was a legendary card. Oh god, I don't know what the last... Hang on, what was the last card played? I'm gonna have to go and have a look now. Activity feed, there we go. Uh, right. Ah, oh, that's the overdue taxes! In the chorus, I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Martin underscore Shriver wants you to slow clap at that. Right, so we want to get this in the entrance way to this field over here. Action underscore Brozo thinks that's worth a dance. 
Way me dancing. Doing a good jig. I'm trying to, I've been trying to think of TikToks to do recently. I've been uh, spending way too much time on TikTok. And uh, yeah, not quite sure what I want to do. this refilled and I might start up the far end of the field actually along the straight edge and work our way back don't get me started on TikTok uh, watch the current equipment before the end of the day yep I think we're gonna end up washing everything because it's I think it's the cedar and the t-dub need washing so yeah this tractor and uh, and everything on it's gonna need washing as well now turn the engine off that as well there's quite a lot of field to do today thank you axiom And a video from two years ago, breaking community. Now I have a warning on your cap. Really? Why? After two years, that's ridiculous. Well, yeah. That, that was my thought exactly. How is that okay for two years? Strike on TikTok of all places. It's almost as much of a Wild West on there as it is on Kick. two times so we've done that that's not done yet done that 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 oh no not done that uh done that done that done that done that complete those me only the pending stuff okay so i do need to add two contracts we'll have a look at what contracts are there hydrate cheers action
Right, lots of fertilizing contracts. We and, and weeding contracts. We have not had, got a seeding or a baling contract come up yet. Which are the next two contracts we have to add. Oh no, why am I? Oh. Fine, we've got another field of barley. I forgot to change it to canola. There should have been a field of canola. It's not. It's going to be a field of barley. more often than I care to commit. Yeah, and unfortunately, without uh, reworking the land, I can't I can't switch it over and, and we are short on time. So, yeah, we'll just have a field. Uh, we'll have two fields of barley here. It's annoying because what this field would have been the next year is barley so it'll have to be barley two years in a row to get it back on track which is very annoying oh i can't even do i can't even do just two crops i can't do just barley no i can can i plant sorghum now i can okay i know what i'm gonna do so we're not gonna do canola on the farm we're gonna do barley and sorghum as our two crops uh, we're going to put barley in these two fields and we're going to put sorghum in the other two fields and go with that better. So yeah, I won't do canola. I'm just going to I'm just going to do sorghum. Cuz we won't be able to put, plant canola in both of our other fields before the end of the month. But we've got an entire extra month to get the sorghum in. So, uh, yeah, we can, we can plant that in our other two fields and do it that way. And then if I want to do canola next year, what I can do is do these two fields as canola and I, and I won't affect my rotation. So that will work. Wow, this is a really heavy piece of land, though. We are, uh, we've, we've got really high seed rate here. I think this is, uh, I don't know what this land is, actually. We have scanned this field. Haven't we? Yeah, oh wow, yeah, this is just solidly silty clay. This entire field is gonna be a really horrible field. Thank you, Kessler 13. Welcome along. So you've done that in real life, put crops in different fields, the right ones you planted, not just the fields you planned. Um I think it's easier in real life because you have certain sets of seeds. So, you know, you don't buy a generic bag of seeds and then have to switch it in the harvester or in the seeder. 
you you have i'm going to plant bee seeds in here yeah no i like this t-dub this this tw25 has been a good tractor for us on here very it's been a, actually a really good all-rounder for us this tractor I think I, I really think we're going to end up with the FW on here, though. With the size of these fields, uh, the FW is going to be a good tractor for us. Sailan, is it Sailan, Sealan? I, 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 sorry, I'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce it, Sealan. But uh, welcome along, Kalen. Is it Kalen? Hey, I'm gonna go with Kalen with that spelling. Kalen! Yes! Get in there! Uh, it would be nice if I had a rotation bonus. Yeah, I would, uh, Grocer. Um, part of my. So when I come to crops. Uh, and the crop updates i would like to see uh crop rotation is one of the things in fact uh, i don't forget that that should be part of that yeah uh, there's a whole load of uh updates and uh changes i want to see in the next version of farm sim for uh crops uh, and yeah, rotation is definitely one of them. I want to see that there is advantages to to planting certain crops after, uh, after other crops. And in fact, um, and I want to see it affect everything. So uh, you do get it where if you plant one crop after another, you see a reduction in uh, pests, and you see a reduction in or uh, you see an increase in um uh in uh yield from nitrogen and you know all sorts of of things by uh going from one crop to another and, and the effect that a crop has and uh yeah i definitely want to see uh there be multiple effects for planting one crop then followed by another and that uh one crop will benefit from another crop being planted before it definitely would like to see that um my 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 wish for fs the next version of farm sim is it's not you need to do this 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 and this and this to uh to get the maximum yield it's if you make this decision that's going to affect that decision i would like it to be far less black and white uh auto drive and course play will never be built into the game both are too complicated for console uh precision farming i would definitely at this point like to see integrated into the game i think precision farming very much is now a major part of farm sim um, and I don't want to see it as, as just a DLC again. I really want to see it as part. Uh, soybeans do kind of do that in PF, but they don't do it in base game. Um, same with sunflowers. Sunflowers in PF have an effect. Uh, but I want it to go beyond more of that. So the, the, the field will keep moisture better, having had one crop. Uh, rather than another and you know potatoes for example are a really heavy crop as far as uh as as far as wanting moisture and how much moisture they take so uh that would then mean that a crop that can handle drier soil would be a next crop to go after potatoes maybe and you know bits like that and 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 so those would affect things and uh yeah i'd like i'd like to see a, a lot of that kind of stuff so that if you want to do your arcadey farming you can do your arcadey farming ignore all of it if you want to get into the really deep stuff 
if you want to absolutely optimize your props and make the most money you can you can get into that as well crowds growing better yet yeah, so different soil types being a base game thing and uh and and different crops doing better in different soil types yes absolutely please not just this blanket setup of, uh, of everything doing well in loam and everything doing poorly in uh in silt uh silty clay have a have a, a good um a good mixture oh so my whole idea for soil i, I think everybody's gonna love my idea for uh soil state uh soil state soil state will be governed by so many nice little bits and pieces like fires and rain and uh, so yeah so uh wheel tire types and uh whether you drive on it during the ray uh, during the ground being wet has a worse effect on on soil state than if you drive on it while it's dry and yeah there's a whole load of stuff around soil state that that is begging to be done that isn't a major change from where things are now um but will just make a massive difference and i knew and you would be left with choices as to how much you drive over your field and with which tires would be just fantastic and if you want to just do it you can do it you know if you don't care about maximizing that yield then then you can just just go and do it uh, if you do if you want to get the absolute maximum out of your farm uh you'll be able to to go and you know Keep an eye on all these little bits and pieces and 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 maximize the the yield you get out of it at the end we are at 44 percent that's really good news and and yeah and so at the moment you have a plowing state and that tells you whether a field needs plowing or not uh, what I'd like to see with with a soil state is that a, a cultivator has a different effect on your soil state compared to a plow, compared to a disc harrow, compared to a uh, you know to all of these different pieces of machinery uh, and a subsoiler and things like that and, and just all of these things create a, a, a different effect and um and, and have a different result i think would just be brilliant yeah there's there's lots of stuff i think you could do and expand things with farms gps i would like to see gps standard in next game definitely Really energetic, the music tonight. Then 30 it is quarter to four in the afternoon in game i'm now less concerned with the amount of time i got full realism
Nice and straight. some pretty big stones on this i think they're all small stones i'm hoping they're all small stones then they'll all roll in i don't think i saw any big stones on this field then we picked up all the big stones that we uh, that we had if not they'll have to wait till next year Live Giants to be able to have a way of testing console mods in a way it finds and flags up errors in the form of a log file to help modders find and fix. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think, uh, I mean, the mod testing, um, mod testing app definitely uh, is a massive step in the right direction for that kind of thing. These five minutes are taking forever. <laughs> is that an actual gap or is just a tire track? That is an actual gap. controls mappable on consoles yes uh grocer yes one of the things that massively put me off playstation and fs19 was i had the side panel and couldn't remap the controls oh that was annoying but if you are accelerating the xbox d-pad shifts on pc doesn't on console would love that option uh, oh, I've uh, actually mine doesn't because <laughs> I changed all my control. First thing I do pretty much as soon as I get a uh, as soon as I get everything set up is I clear all the uh, default controls and just go with the setup that that works for me as best possible. Uh, don't mind about course per console, but hired workers need an upgrade from straight up and down. Yes, Headland. Um, game that did that really well recently was... Oh, God. That, that new one on um, American Farming. American Farming did Headlands for hired workers really well. And while I don't think you could see... I, I don't think I could see... Uh, consoles getting uh, course play I could see consoles getting um, uh, something like uh, American farming had and I would like to see that definitely I'm gonna park this over here out of the way same goes for this Bit of lag.
<laughs> Bad sometimes AI workers stop the traffic when they turn around. Ah, uh, it's all to do with collision steam fan, and yeah, it's it's weird. Even with course play, that happens. Uh, there's yeah, it's it's all about the AI trying to predict what the AI is going to do and and getting a little bit confused. making good progress today i am uh, i am pleased we manage to get uh, this field planted that is very good progress especially now that we're looking at doing uh soybeans no no so gum in the other field soybeans take too long to sell uh so gum in the other field I don't know if we'll get this rolled today. See what the time is. And how quickly we get the rest of this field done. If we did get this rolled today, that would be amazing. Because we know then how much time we have to get the, uh, the next field done. Would I ever do a tier list of tractor brands? Ooh. I don't know about that. That's, um... I don't know enough about all the tractor brands outside of the game. Just in game, my opinion. Oh, wow. See, I, I, I don't think I'd also go beyond maybe, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I might go down as far as an F tier. I think I'd have some people peed off with me. <laughs> consider doing it for max so doing a, a tier when i do a, a a map first look putting it in a tier lift list hey brayden welcome along what would be bottom of the list Ooh. do you know what i have an idea yeah
Uh, in my opinion, Ford is more like me. Uh, if Giants could get Ford, uh, Ford trucks in game, that would open up uh, the Ford brand for being used on things like tractors. And uh, yeah, as a result, that's more likely. David Brown tractors, uh, there is no way to get the modern David Brown brand into game. And therefore, I uh, I would never expect David Brown to actually make it into game. Can't see giants making said tractors, but modders, yeah, yeah, no, I, I could see modders making said tractors. Although the same, same was true of the Fiat's. Nobody expect giants to ever make the Fiat tractors, and and they did. You know. So um, yeah, I don't see why not. And it is one of the most requested brands in game. I mean, again, look at Volvo as well. Nobody expected the Volvo BM tractor to be, um, to be in game. And that's probably your your route for uh Ford coming in. Is uh is Ford's trucks and lorries being made and uh including the game and Ford going by well, here's the brand, yeah. Let's let's celebrate the historic uh Ford agriculture side as well. And uh, and getting things like this in. Does David David Brown Tractors doesn't still exist? But the company uh, there is a company uh, called David Brown that still does gearboxes and things, I believe. was acquired by Textron in October 1998. Uh, the business currently trades as David Brown Engineering Limited and is headquartered in Huddersfield. Uh, remains a supplier of heavy transmission systems for industrial defense, railway and machine and marine applications. So yes, David Brown as a company still exists. Oh, I knew, I knew Volvo BM were a tractor because I had a Britain's toy of it when I was very we, we high. Yeah, back in the mid 80s.
Yeah, we're not going to get this field rolled today. We are going to get it seeded, though. But that is fine. And that should give us the chance to get the uh, sorghum in. should resurrect the amazing brand white they made some awesome powerful tractors my britain's uh tractors were a ford and many masses as sad as some forklift in the jcb Tullahanna. i had the um jcb teller handler i had the uh oh i had i had multiple fords did ha I must have sold it. I thought I had a Britain's Ford around here, but I must have sold it uh, in favor of the, um, the the model one that I got. this bit here and then we'll go up the top corner sidetrack but what was the name of the english car brand mg uh yeah it was mg that's that was the name of the brand it's currently owned by a chinese company i think oh, i remember the cattle milk tanker the cement uh skip trucks yeah the whole um road working stuff uh, Steam fan. Yeah, I remember all of that. I think there was an MB in that set as well. TBR stands for. Uh, that's for recording TV, isn't it? short something but i don't know what i i know axiom i'm pulling your leg uh i don't know what tbr stands for no Forever? really i i don't know what mg stands for motor it might be motor group or something like that i bet it's something like british motor group i called it a wow and he was called trevor that's brilliant absolutely brilliant it's not tbr it's trevor Look at that, 26 minutes past five. Right, let's get the uh, stuff back to the farm. We'll leave the rollers where they are for now. Later, Fred, thanks for joining us. Fully expected him to hit my feeder then. Uh, what well, MG MG used to be a good brand then it got 
really bad and now it's kind of faded from existence over here they went bust and the the brand name got bought by a chinese company and uh yeah you don't really see that many mgs certainly modern mgs uh in in the uk anymore they used to be really cool mg used to be a really high status brand i remember um both my mum and my stepman had a uh, step mum <coughs> had uh, had mgs at one point or another uh right we need to we'll park this up in here hey crazy man from ireland welcome along Froggy Sprite. Put that on the floor. There go. Oh, we've got to wash our kit, haven't we? <laughs> Most companies must have done that. I'll tell them waiting for the AA. Yeah, MG, MG really went downhill. Uh, sort of around 2000, I think it was. And I think it was the last major brand that was a that was a properly a uk brand and uh yeah because jaguar uh jaguar land rover is now owned by data in, in india I have to go and pick up um, more uh, the rest of the scene, I think. Uh, is it? No, uh, it's Tata. It's T A T A, I believe, in India, own Jaguar Land Rover. Parks and Fun Season 3 is due soon, yes. I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, Tata is is massive. They are a huge company. Or I forget. Oh, I put it on the corner. Well, Danny on Discord, I think you wanted to know about... Oh, yeah. Yeah, really interesting scene, Pat. Do you know what I'd really like to get my hands on? Um... Oh, I can't name the, remember the name of it now. Baldur's Gate 3. I really, really want to get my hands on Baldur's Gate 3. And I would absolutely play that on stream. Good boy.
right, but uh, I mean, it's play, playing social based turbo game just without your funny friends. I got bored so fast. Oh, I would, I, yeah, I, I really want to play Baldur's game. What horsepower is the Ford Sabra? I think, do we have it on here? We might have it on here, it's a small tractor. Uh, do I? Yes, we do. Uh, so I've got the 7740, so it is 95 horsepower. Steam fan. need to go roll this field next time and uh, well we'll need to roll both fields so we might try and get the other field seeded and then roll both of them uh did i play fallout um i have not i have downloaded fallout 76 though uh because of course it's free at the moment so uh i've uh, i i downloaded that uh, and have it installed if you're uh, if you're uh, uh, on uh, twitch prime uh then or uh, amazon prime you can get fallout 76 for free at the moment um it is in your download bits at the top uh so if you want to play fallout go grab that um i have yet to watch the tv show uh, but my wife has watched it and uh, some of my friends have watched it None of them have played Fooled Out. All of them have said it's a great TV show. So, uh, yeah, I fully expect to, to watch. Or I fully plan to watch Fooled Out when I get a minute. I've heard good things. Uh, yeah, there's the New Holland version of it that's on console. I just have the only the Ford one installed on here. Right, so we will save this here. Oh, I just want to check the shop before we go. Nope, still nothing. Right, uh, let's take the time down. Uh, we will save this here. And uh, yeah, that is a very productive day on here. How was job interview? Job interview went quite well, uh, actually, and I'm waiting to hear back if I get a second round interview um yeah the job is very interesting in that it would be on uh american east coast hours so what would happen with my streams i don't know if i got it it's still a way off possibly getting that but uh, i think that um the sunday night streams would probably continue normal time but uh yeah the week time the weekday ones would probably be during the mornings on the weekdays um because i would be working uh when i would normally be streaming um but we'll see we'll see what happens um it would it would be an interesting job most certainly right let's see who is on twitch right now my good friend Jeff, we've got Deuce on as well. We haven't raided Deuce for a little while, so I think we might go, uh, might go raid Deuce right now. Especially he's got a lot less viewers as well than Jab has. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you over Deuce MS as way. Uh, so where's my raid? Yeah, there's my raid okay uh before i do that though we do have some thank yous to say this evening uh the biggest one is uh azrael 
thank you for resubscribing for your seven month. You are awesome. Uh, thank you to everybody who has taken part in the uh, in the stream loots and making my life a little bit more difficult and in places helpful. Uh, you guys are all awesome. Uh, I don't think we had. Oh, we did have one person right at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, we got. We had a new member on uh, on YouTube. Uh, thank you to Stu Wallace for becoming a season worker. You are awesome. Um, I am going to leave it here for this evening. Uh, I will be back on Friday evening from 8.30 p.m. for the Community Survival on American Fool. So I hope you can join me for that. Uh, video tomorrow will be Moss Valley and early access for that should be up by lunchtime tomorrow. Um, so if you are a... Um, uh, a patron or a youtube channel member of harvest manager and above uh, access to that will be available then um and uh yeah uh, that will then be live from 3 p.m tomorrow for everybody else uh i am gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this evening's live stream uh, if you're on YouTube, please give us a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And a uh, huge thank you, as always, to all of my patrons, my YouTube channel members, and my Twitch subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you have not yet followed us on Twitch, or... Uh, and or uh, <laughs> subscribed on YouTube, please do so to never miss a live stream or video from me. And uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.